I want to start off by saying Brakatha Yahawu, Brakatha Yaharashai, Brakatha Yahawu, Brakatha Yaharashai, Kahalau Yahawu by Hashem Yaharashai, Kahalau Yahawu by Hashem Yaharashai, by Hashem Makakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles at Great Millstone that told me this doctrine in truth and sincerity. Shalom to the elect. The Heavenly Father's name is Yahawu, which means He is or He exists. By Hashem in the name of His only begotten Son, who the world ignorantly calls. Jesus Christ, we know his name to be Yahweh Shai, which means he is the deliverer, he is the savior for the Hebrew Israelites from the pedigree of your father. Ba'ashim in the name of the Rokah Kodash, which means the Holy Spirit that's able to give us the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of who we are, which are the true Hebrew Israelites. For so called Negro, so called Latino, so called Native American, or of the speckled bird, looking like the other nations in your spirit, bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of Yahweh Ba'ashim Shai. You could be one of the elect. Shalom. We've been discontinued from our heritage because we went off. Falling into false gods and false idols, not following the law, set your commandments that was given to us by our forefathers. And because of these offenses, we were sent into captivity. But through Yahrashai, Hamashiach, being that perfect sacrifice in the flesh to the Heavenly Father, he's been given all power to be able to sit on the right hand side of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, to be able to open the seals of this book, to be able to give the understanding, the mysteries to the disciples, the apostles, the prophets, and the men on down, to be able to wake up the tabernacle of David before the said destruction. And with that knowledge, wisdom, understanding, we know who our oppressor is, which is Esau, Edom. Esau means wasted away he is, and they are the biblical Edomites that in the latter days would have the fatness of the earth, which would be the monetary system to be able to deceive the nations, and they would rule it with the great sword. And when that great sword comes many different teeth, you have their military force, their pestilence, but also where they're able to push forth, um, you know, lies, deception, enchantments on the people through their television, through their media, which goes back to witchcraft and sorcery. Okay, but there is no enchantment on Jake, which would be what the elect of this time, the hopeful elect. And through this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, we know that our oppressor is trying to bring in his new world order, his Novus Order Sequorium, which is on the back of your dollar bill, by weaponizing the food, uh, destroying the water, by putting mercury and fluoride in it, putting barium aluminum in the air, and poisoning the minds of the people to think, um, you know, evil is good, Okay. But the Lord, Yaharashai, Yahabah Shemarashai, is bringing forth what new management um, by raising up the prophets of old and bringing in what righteousness. But through um, that righteousness has to come prophecy, which means to uh, uh, say before that the things that are said in this book have to what come to fruition. They have to what manifest. And right now they're being manifest. OK, and that's all through what. The Heavenly Father, Yahweh, setting forth his decree, which is his word, through what Yaharashai, Yaharashai, setting forth his um, decree to the Alahayim, which the Alahayim in the Hebrew means powers, which would be what the first church, which is the same thing that's going on in this time. The same way this place was, um, you know, began, far as how it was built, is the same way this place is being taken down and being renewed, being regenerated um, into what, uh, in truth. Okay, through our Lord Yaharashai. So this lesson is going to be centered around, um, you know, friends, profession, you know, because this is a business. Okay, this is not something that's, uh, you know, this is something that's everlasting far as, um, you know, the understanding of this truth. It's, it's everlasting. It's perpetual. Okay, we're fighting for a kingdom that's going to be everlasting. Okay, not a kingdom that's going to be around like these heathen nations for 250 years. To 300 years, but an everlasting kingdom fighting for our Lord Yaharashai to be able to have his name glorified and through his name being glorified. Okay, all the prophecies coming coming into play. <clears throat> um, the elect will be what joint heirs and with that joint heirs comes what suffering. Okay, just like our Lord Yaharashai had to be persecuted. So does what the, um, the hopeful elect. They have to be persecuted um, for thy namesake, but that is a, what a blessing. Okay, so let's get into it. This is John 15 and 12. It says, this is my commandment, that you love one another as I love you. Okay, so Yaharashai, what did he do? He laid down his life. He put his blood on the line. He put Israel on his back, okay, as far as um, his sacrifice in the flesh, being being perfect, you know, according to what the prophecies that he had to what be that perfect lamb, okay, which he is. Okay, and he would lay down his life, and that's the same thing that the first church, the um, the elect, have to do in this time. Okay, and in that love, this is something that Yaharashai said to one of the disciples, Peter, which was the head of the church. Right, it says, 
John 21 and 17, and he said unto him the third time, okay, three goes into understanding. Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? So again, that word lovest, right? Lovest thou me? Peter was grieved, okay, because he had said unto him the third time, lovest thou me? And that red letter is Yaharashai. That's that sacrifice that he made for what his friends, okay? And he said unto him, Yaharashai, thou knowest all things. Thou knowest that I love thee. Yaharashai said unto him, feed my sheep. Okay, feed goes into feed them with the understanding of the scriptures, because that is true love is what reproving and rebuking your people far as giving them the understanding and showing um, showing them the same mercy that the Lord has shown you far as freely as you give freely as you receive, because this word is what spiritual uh, spiritual bread that you can be able to eat off. Okay, it speaks about that in John uh, 6 and 44 down to 48. When Yahweh Shai was uh, speaking about, you know, eat of me, eat of my, eat of my body, and he's speaking about spiritually because this is not for the, um, the carnal men. Okay, this is for the spiritual men, right? And the Lord has given us what the spirit of um, His mind. Okay, let's get that. This is Second Corinthians. First Corinthians, Sakya. First Corinthians two. And 14, but the natural man receiving not the things of the spirit of Yahweh, for they are foolishness unto him, neither can they know them because they are spiritually discerned. And that's why people can't get the understanding. Many are called, but few are chosen. Okay, they can't they can't get over the word, uh, the JC word. They can't get over that. They want to stick to more. And also they want to stick to most high Christ blessed. They can't get over that the seed to the hip, which is something that's physical that they want to implement. They can't get over that because, again, you have to eat the whole roll. That's that's being a true friend of, of our Lord Yahweh Shai is eating the whole roll, having the whole understanding, have the whole what the insight. OK, that goes into the mysterion, right? First Corinthians 2 and 15. But he that is spiritual judge all things, yet himself is judge of no man. OK, who judges us? Yahweh Shai. We're being uh, chastised right now, so we're not condemned with the world. First Corinthians 11 and 32. Okay, because this world is going to be judged on the actions because they didn't want to repent and be converted to our Lord Yahweh Shai. First Corinthians 2 and 16 is the point. For, it says, For who hath known the mind of Yahweh Shai, that he might instruct him, but we have the mind of a Mashiach. So we have the understanding of a Mashiach far as in the, um, the scriptures. Okay, the true understanding. <clears throat> you know, the... Um, the hundred percent truth because the Lord is what given us mercy and truth. Okay. As far as the understanding and that goes through our um, elders and apostles at great millstone and the men on down that follow the sound doctrine that follow the land, wherever they go, they're not concealing and holding up the, um, you know, the understanding in a napkin. Okay. They're what feeding the sheep. They would be what diligent. Okay. They would be what putting in that work, just like our Lord Yahweh Shai did. He what fed the sheep. So going back to John 15, and 13, it says, greater love had no man this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. Okay, let's read this in LT. It says, there is no greater love than to lay down one's life for one's friends. Okay, and didn't Yahweh Shai uh, lay down his life? Okay, he sacrificed his flesh, had to go through and endure um, being persecuted. Okay, being um, for three hours of, you know, um, you know, um, sweating out blood, um, you know, being slapped, being... Uh, spit on, okay, being mocked, right, and even by his own people, okay, and that's the same thing that <clears throat> that we're gonna have to endure um, for this truth, okay, just like our Lord Yahweh Shai. I want to get this word, uh, friends. It says John fifteen and thirteen, and this is in the Blue Letter Bible. This word, friends. Strong G, 5384. Philos. 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 So that's in the Greek. It says, friend to be friendly to one. Wish him well. And that's what the Lord Yahweh Shai wishes as well by giving us the understanding, giving us the mysterion as far as in this fight. Because what uh, Yahweh Shai is what? The way, the truth, the life. And any man that follow him, um, shall what have um glory okay through what yahweh shai you know that's roughly paraphrasing uh john 14 and 6 a friend a associate okay who associates familiarity with one and companion so it means that you're what like-minded first corinthians 1 and 10 be like-minded so just like yahweh is like-minded he's in the image of our lord yahweh 
the image of our, of our Lord Yahweh, okay, Yaharashai, right? And Yaharashai is on one accord with what? The Rokakwadash, the Holy Spirit, and, the, and the, uh, those three entities are on one accord of what? With the Holy Prophets, okay? To be able to what? Bring in the spirit of prophecy, associates, okay? And this word associate, let's see if I can get something real quick. Associate. associate okay connect with something else in one's mind okay <clears throat> so so first corinthians uh, 2 and 16 speaks about we have the same mind as what yahavashai okay a link relate a couple okay and yahavashai is our husbandman he's planted the seed of truth in our minds making us his uh wives okay making us what woman because uh, uh, zion is known as a delicate woman Okay, woman goes into servant, and we are servants of Yahweh Shai, which also goes into what a, a, a friend, yeah, a partner, a colleague in a business or at work, because this is a profession. Okay, we're working for the um the universal king. Okay, we're working for the omnipotent. Okay, we're not working at Walmart. Okay, we're working for the for the most important uh uh you know uh king of this of this time, king of king, lord of hosts. Okay, and we're praying that we're of with the tabernacle of David. We're praying that we're associated. Okay, a person with limited or subordinate membership of an organization. Okay, and the Lord what has been given, Yahweh has been given all power, rule, and authority. Matthew 28 and 18. Okay, join or connected with the organization or business. Okay, a fellow worker, a partner. Right, and that's what we want to do. We want to be linked to Yahweh Make form, yeah, link. It says make form or suggest a connection with or between. And what the Lord is, the Lord is what forming us and through the trials and the testimony of the fire, okay, to be like gold tried in the fire. And when, when gold is um, finished, it's in, the, how do you know it's finished? By, by it would be the image of the creator. And we want to, who's the creator? Yahweh, okay? And Yahweh looks like Yahweh Shai, okay? Going into the image. And we want to be associated with Yahweh Shai. It says, one of the bridegroom's friends went on behalf as the hand of the bride rendered him various services. Various services. So what are the services? Putting in that work. Okay. And closing the marriage. Closing the marriage. What's closing the marriage? Uh, you know, uh, speaking these words and that, that are hewing our adversaries, bringing in, bringing in, our, our, um, bringing in our Lord Yahweh Shai. 2 Thessalonians uh, 2 and 8. Okay, bringing in our Lord Yahweh Shai in his great splendor. Him various services and closing the marriage and celebrating the nuptials. What is the celebrating? Celebrating the new song, singing the um the song of the uh the song of Moses. Okay. So that goes into that word uh friend. Let's see if we got any more. It says friend, it says uh dear. Okay, neighbor. A neighbor goes into what brother? Okay, love 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 one another as your as your neighbor. That's speaking about your actual brother, someone that's in the truth, okay? And also said the word, what, fond. The Lord, Yahweh Shai, is very fond of us because we're making our bodies a living sacrifice, too, just like our Lord, Yahweh Shai, okay? The ones that are of the elect. Even though we, we catch hell, even though we got to go through things, um, the Lord sees it, and he, what, gives us away through what mercy and truth. It says, John 15 and 14, you are my friends if you do whatever I command you. So what did the Lord command us to do? Ezekiel 3 and 1, it says, Moreover, he said unto me, son of man, eat thy findest, eat this roll, and go speak unto the house of Israel. So eat this roll. That means what? Study. Study that show thyself improve. Okay? You study the scriptures till you have the understanding. And then when you have the understanding... The Lord puts the spirit in you to be able to what go out and teach. It says, so I opened my mouth and he caused me to eat the roll. So eating goes into what spiritually you're spiritually eating the roll. You're because you have to learn by teachers. This is another scripture. This is Jeremiah. Jeremiah 3 and 15. It says, I will give you pastors according to my heart. Okay. A heart goes into the Hebrew word, which means your mind. 
where you set your heart in is where your treasure will be. So if you're setting your heart on what victory on your harashai, okay, that's where your heart will be. But if you are being double-minded, James 1 and 8, a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. You are you might be saying the name, but then you're not going out there and teaching. And not everybody's going to be a teacher. But what I'm speaking about is you're, you know, behind closed doors, you're just doing whatever you want to do. Okay, you're not following the things that you're supposed to follow. Okay, as far as the scriptures, it says, I will give you pastors according to my heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. So knowledge and understanding of what? The scriptures. Let's get this word pastors. <laughs> Strong's H at 7462. Ra, ra. So that's a Hebrew word 7462. It says a shepherd, okay? And aren't we what prototypes were shepherds of the what the good shepherd, which is Yahweh Shai? Okay, we are shepherds over the flock. It says the ruler, the teacher. So again, those teachers, which would be the prophets, right? It says to feed to graze. So you gotta um, you know, when a sheep they're they're very um they're beautiful um animals okay but the thing is is they'll wander off and they're, they're very easily you know um could get caught up and that's why you what need the flock to be able to what give them warning okay you have to what brush them you have to feed them and that's a that should be a daily thing wanting to what feed the sheep okay you know whatever that your um you know your lot is right it says to and again right here and going back to it to associate associate sakim a friend okay to be a friend so to be associate to be familiar with familiar with what your husband your harishai okay and you are what the bridegroom to be a special friend okay a special friend and that's what we're trying to be special friends of our lord your harishai by his by him giving his uh blood and now we have to what give our blood far as um you know romans 12 and 1 you know, giving our, making our bodies a living sacrifice, right? It says, keep company with, devour, eat up. It says, um, make friendship with herdmen, <clears throat> okay? So that's what we're supposed to be, right? When you have the with the true understanding, right? Friends of, of our Lord, you have a shy. It says, Ezekiel 3 and 3, and he said unto me, son of man, because the belly, it says, cause thy belly to eat and fill thy bowels with this roll. So going into the understanding of the scriptures that what the servants, the prophets have fed you, right? And the and, and Yahweh Shema Shai is going to sup with you. Revelation 3 and uh, 18, 3 and 20, he's going to sup with you. And you go into the word sup, it goes into to be intimate, to be blissful, okay? To give you intimate knowledge of the blueprint of what uh, the wicked is doing, but also what the righteous have to do to be able to endure salvation. It says, then do it and eat it was in my mouth as honey for sweetness. So some things it's, it's, um, you know, when you first come to the truth, you're like, oh, okay. <clears throat> Saki, um, I'm an Israelite. Okay, cool. But then you're going to realize that, um, what people start to what persecute you for, for, um, the scriptures, you know, you might, oh, that's not his name. You know, um, why are you reading that Bible? You weren't doing that before because the Lord has what quickened you. John 6 and 63 has quickened you to what this knowledge and understanding and the people, those old people, those old niggas, they don't understand what is going on. OK, your old friends or whatever, they don't understand what's going on. But the thing is, is you're being transformed in your mind to the to the mind of Hamashiach. OK, our Lord and Savior, it says for and he said unto him, um, said unto me, son of man, go get thee into the house of Israel and speak thy words unto them. Okay. So you're what's supposed to speak thy words. Okay. Speak thy words, what straight out the scriptures. Right. And that's a, what a true friend, because the Lord has given you what, um, let's get this. So he said, what go out to the house of Israel, which is the same thing that's reiterated in uh, Matthew and what make it, make it public. Okay. Once you learn the whole role. Now, again, now everybody's going to be a teacher, right? It says, but we're supposed to what play our role, whatever that our role is, right? Psalm 68 and 11, the Lord Yahweh Shai gave the word. Okay, who is the word? Yahweh Shai. He is the decree from the Heavenly Father Yahweh. Psalms 2 and 7, Revelation um, 19 and 13 speaks about the word, that Yahweh Shai is the word. Okay, he is the, that, he's that breath that Yahweh sent forth, that breath, that rakah, that life to what Yahweh Shai, to be able to give the order to, to everything that goes on now. The Lord Yahweh Shai gave the word. Great was the company of those that published it. Okay, and who's the ones that are going to publish it? The 
Luke 1 and 70. Let me start from 68. Blessed be Yahweh Shemar Shai of Israel, for he hath visited and redeemed his people. He hath raised up a horn. That horn goes into power, which is Yahweh Shai. It says, of salvation for us in the house of the servant of David. Again, the tabernacle of David is being risen up as the days of old, going into sovereignty. Luke 1 and 70. As he spoke by the mouth of his holy prophets, because what do the holy prophets have? They have the mysterion. That's how the, and that Yahweh Shai is what touching their mouth for us to give them the understanding to be able to, uh, spit forth a prophecy okay holy prophets which have been since the world began going into every time you saw the prophets that means that a kingdom was going down okay and that's what will be those will be the first church the true prophets right luke 1 and 71 that we should be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all that hate us to perform the mercy promised to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant so remember the promise that the harashai gave us and through this word um through the Lord, what given us the mysterion, okay, we're able to, uh, you know, push out the word through the what the real Kadash, the Holy Spirit, because of, through the what the secrets, Amos three and seven. Surely, the Lord Yahabashim Rashi would do nothing, but He revealed His secrets unto His servants, the prophets. Okay, so starting with um, the elder Abba Bivens, okay, in about 1970, you were able to what have, um, you know. Elijah, which we believe to be Elijah, was able to what wake up um, the the fathers to the children. Okay, then you have what the the seven, okay, that started at the one west camps, and then you have what the head apostles at Great Millstone and the elders and the bishops and the men on down that follow the sound doctrine through what the secrets that the Lord has given them. Okay, Amos three and eight, the lion had roared, and that lion is Yahweh Shai. He's he's roaring right now through what his prophets. He will not. It says, who will fear? The Lord Yahweh Shai has spoken, who can but prophesy? So the ones that are going to fear are the ones that actually have the mercy and truth that the Lord Yahweh Shai has sent forth. Psalms 85 and 10. Mercy, which goes into the understanding of the scriptures, the truth goes into Yahweh Shai. He is the way, the truth, the life. Okay, any man that, let me just get that scripture because I keep quoting it. This is John 14 and 6. Yahweh Shai said unto him, I am the way, the truth, the life. No man cometh unto the Father, but by me, because Yahweh Shai is what the intercessor between us, because our righteousness is of filthy rags. So our Lord Yahweh Shai, he is perfect. So that's how Yahweh looks at us. And through Yahweh Shai, we are purified. Okay. And it says, mercy and truth are met together. Righteousness and peace have kissed each other. Truth shall spring out the earth and righteousness shall look down from heaven. Yeah, righteousness is looking down. Yahweh Shai has to uh is waiting on what the prophecies that are gonna that that have to happen because only Yahweh knows the time and the hour as far as that Yahweh Shai will come down and all these prophecies will be fulfilled and this goes into another one this is Proverbs 7 and 4 going into what friendship going into what uh familiarity okay uh Proverbs 7 and 4 I say unto wisdom thou art my sister and call understanding thy kinsman kinswoman Sakya. So let me read this in a T. Love wisdom like a sister. Make insight and beloved member of your family. Okay, going into what, um, you know, wisdom is known as a woman. Okay. I want to get this word, uh, kinswoman. Strong's age, 4129. Moda. 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 So that's the Hebrew. Second entry. Moda. Moda. Okay, so that's the Hebrew. third entry. Moda. Moda. Fourth entry. Moda. Moda. Okay. It says, uh, kin, it says, kinsman, relative. So we are what relatives of what our friends, right? That goes into what being your, being your brethren. Okay, your relative, acquaintance, kinswoman. Right. Let's go a little bit deeper. Yeah, duh. OK. Strong's H. Three thousand forty five. Yeah, there. Yeah, there. Yeah, what up? So it says in the Hebrew thirty forty five to know. OK, how do we know these things? Through what the Holy Spirit, the Rokakwadash, the Holy Spirit that what gives us life to know, to learn. Learn to know. So how do you learn? Um, he that um, he that readeth, right? Let me let me just get. I'll get the scripture over here because I don't want to uh, misquote it. 
So it says to perceive, to perceive, to see, to find out, to discern, to okay, to distinguish. Yeah, distinguish what's go actually going on in the world. This is Revelation 1 and 3. Revelation 1 and 3. Blesses he that readeth, and they that hear the words of prophecy, and keep those things which are written. Therefore, the time is at hand. Okay, and the time's at hand according to the prophecies that are going on. Okay, but you have to have the spiritual discernment to what? Recognize, admit. Acknowledge, confess, and we're confessing to the Lord that our righteousness is of filthy rags, that um, that we know that we sin because Yaharishai, the physician, is only coming back for the sinners, the ones that have remorse for their sins, to know, to be acquainted with. So we're being acquainted with Yaharishai as what friends, to have knowledge, to be wise, to make oneself known, to be perceived, to be instructed, okay? And whatever be instructed in what the fear of the Heavenly Father. Okay, instructed in what knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Known acquaintance, to make known, to declare, to make oneself known, reveal oneself. And Yahweh Shai is revealing himself through what his servants, the prophets, who he is. And um, that's why, you know, um, just like they didn't like Yahweh Shai, they despise Yahweh Shai, they despise the prophets today. <laughs> Offender for that word, right? Using great variety of senses. Yeah, kinsfolk, which goes into what your family, okay? <clears throat> Skillful, all right? So that was that word, um, kinswoman. When you go into the hermeneutics of it, you go into the second one, okay? So it says, Proverbs 7 and 4, say unto wisdom, thou art my sister, and call understanding thy kinswoman, okay? Go going into you keeping that close, your you're relative, you're, you're, you have the understanding, you know, Okay, through what the scriptures, Proverbs 7 and 5. They that, it says, that they may keep them from thy strange woman and from thy stranger which flattered with thy words. Okay, and that's what, and this is going into, um, you know, the philosophy of, of fornication with these different, um, these different, you know, Christianity, Roman Catholicism. Okay, and that's, you know, then that goes into what, you know, playing the harlot. You know, you're cheating with these different things of the world instead of what, uh, staying focused for your shy, you know, which is what your husband meant, okay? So going back to this is John 15, John 15, Saki. It says, John 15 and 15. Henceforth, I call you not servants, for the servant know what his Lord doeth, but I have called you friends. For all things I have heard of my father, I have made known unto you. So again, going into, uh, no, going into kinswoman, okay? Going into, oh, I believe it was my pa, okay? Going into what the understanding of what the scriptures, you know what's about to happen, what's about to pop off uh, according to what the prophecies. 16, it says, you have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained that you should go and bring forth fruit that your fruit shall remain, that whatsoever you ask of the Father in my name, he may give unto you, okay? And give you what? Uh, salvation, you know, food, water, shelter, and, and, and first of all, these scriptures, okay? The, what the, the comfort of these scriptures. And that goes through what the men of the Lord, what sacrificing, um, being instant, in season, out of season. Because again, if you're lazy, this is 2 Timothy 4 and 2. Let me, let me get a scripture. This is Romans. Romans 12 and 11, not slothful in business, fervent in spirit, serving the Lord, Yahweh Shai. So again, not slothful in business, because if you're slothful in business, this is what happens. This is 3 and 15, Revelation 3 and 15. It says, I know thy works, and thou art neither cold nor hot. I would thou were cold or hot. So then because thou art lukewarm, neither cold nor hot, I will spew thee out of my mouth. And spewing out of the mouth goes into the plagues that are going to be upon you. Because he what put down the plow, okay. And the Lord said, through what is that? Second Thessalonians three and ten. It says, ten. For even when we were with you, this we commanded you that we would not work. It says, let me read this again. It says, for even when we were with you, this we commanded you that if anyone would not work. Neither should eat. So if you don't work, you don't eat. And that's the saying in the world. And that comes from the scriptures. You don't work, you don't eat. 
as simple as that. And the Lord is going to want to spill you out because this is a business. Okay. We are what uh, friends for it. We are kinsmen. Okay. Through what knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Okay. So we're supposed to be what like minded. Thee. Okay. We're supposed to what publish it and make it, uh, uh, make it, um, out there. Okay. Let me get a scripture. It says it better. <clears throat> Hebrews four. Yeah. Hebrews four and 14. It says, seeing then that we have great high priest that has passed into the heavens, Yahweh Shai, son of our power, let us hold fast on our profession. Okay. And who's that high priest? Yahweh Shai. Profession, business. Okay. Um, in the business of what? Bringing, bringing forth prophecy. Let's get this word profession. Strong G3671. Hamalagia. 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 Okay, in the Greek. Profession. It says, one who professed to be ours. Okay, and it speaks it like in the mafia. They'll say he's one of ours. Okay, and Yaharashai is saying he's one of ours. One, one of, you know, one of his far as by the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding that you have, the true doctrine. And men see that because men see that and what they cling together. Um, second, um, second Ezra 8 and 51, it speaks about that. It says, what one professes. So basically what you're speaking is what you're going to be, okay? Acknowledgement, profess, okay? And that is our profession is what putting in this work, just like our Lord Yahweh Shai did, okay? And it says, Hebrews 4 and 15, it says, for we have not a high priest, which cannot be touched with the feeling of infirmities, but was at all points tempted like as we are yet without sin. So again, Yahweh Shai was in the flesh. So he knows the torment that you go through what in the flesh. Okay, but we have to what bear that cross, which is our cross is a, what of fighting ourselves. Okay, far as, you know, to the Lord, you know, being spiritual. Okay, it says, uh, Hebrews 4 and 16, let us therefore come bodily unto the thrones of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in the time of need. And that's what we need is what mercy, which is the understanding of these scriptures. Grace is what through Yahweh Shai to help in the time of need. So the time of Jacob's trouble, the time of what the hour of temptation. This is John 15. John 15 and... Yeah, it says 17. It says, these things I command you that you love one another. So now we have the understanding of the love is what? Feed him with the scriptures. Yeah, uh, let me get another scripture. This is 1 Thessalonians 4 and 8. So okay, 17, 18. Wherefore, it says 1 Thessalonians 4 and 18. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. So we're supposed to be comforting one another with these words. 1 Thessalonians, uh, no. Four and two, going back to that. First Timothy four and two. Second Timothy four and two. Preach the word, be instant in season, out of season, reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. So with good teaching. For the time will come where they will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own lust, they shall heap to themselves teachers having itching ears. Okay, so you have people out there that think this is entertainment, but this is a business. Okay, that's being built on the on the rock, which is the foundation, which is our Lord Yahweh Shai. Okay, and it's it's a solemn assembly. Now we, we we um you know laugh you know because again we're lively stones, but again this is a solemn assembly far as when it comes to the scriptures, far as what putting in that work. Okay. Because there is a reward at the end, but we have to what um, endure all things like a good soldier. Let's get that. This is a uh, Sake bear with me. Second Timothy two and three. Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. 
I want to read this in the NOT. For soldiers don't get tied up in the affairs of civilian life. For then they cannot please the officer who enlisted them. So again, you're in, you're engaged in mirth, you're engaged in adultery, you're engaged in Christianity. You go to church on Sunday, okay? You're engaged in most calling on Most High Christ, bless Yahshua. You're being uh, you're part of the civilian life. You're letting women teach, okay? You're you're wearing your hair down to down to your back like a woman, okay? Going against the apostles, going against ultimately the scriptures, okay? Not accepting reproof, not accepting rebuke. Second Timothy four. Socket like 2 and 5. The athletes cannot win the prize unless they follow the rules. So again, Judges 5 and 11, rehearsing the righteous acts. And the things that you can be able to do, the Lord knows. And the things that you're just putting off from day to day, that's when the Lord's going to catch you. Because you're not enduring hardness like a good soldier. Right? And all those those scriptures, you know, through the Holy Spirit, um, you know, uh, you know, was working on my mind. And, um... But this was actually the main scripture that came up. It says, yeah, it says, Sirach 6 and 16, a faithful friend is medicine of life. And they that fear Yahweh shall find him. Okay. So that is what medicine to life. Because there's another scripture where it speaks about, the, there's many scriptures where it says about uh, friends or friend. Um, this is one that also popped up. This is um, through the Holy Spirit. 7. Wisdom of Solomon 7 and 27. Get right to the point. And being but one, she can do all things. And remaining in herself, she, which is wisdom, maketh all things new. Again, going into the renewing of your mind. And all the ages entering to holy souls. So entering into the, the souls that are separated from the world. She maketh them friends of Yahweh and the prophets. Okay. And prophets are what? Friends to Yahweh Shai. Okay, for Yahweh loveth none but him that dwelleth with wisdom. Okay, and wisdom of what? The scriptures, because the wisdom of this world is foolishness unto the Lord. So again, this is Sirach 6 and I'll read that again. 16, a faithful friend is medicine of life that fear the Lord. Yahweh Shai shall find him. Whose fears the Lord shall direct his friendship aright. For as he is, so shall his neighbor be also. So we read that earlier, the word neighbor. Okay, which goes into the word, what, friend. Okay, it goes into the word, um, a kinswoman. Okay, and your neighbor is someone that's in the truth with you. Someone that has to go through the same afflictions like you're going through. Okay, not someone in the world. This is Sirach 6 and 22. For wisdom is according to her name. Okay, and she is not manifest unto many. Many are called, but few are chosen. Okay, give ear, my son, receive my advice, and refuse not my counsel. Who is his counsel? Starting with the head apostles at Great Millson and the men on down. Okay, that follow the sound doctrine wherever they go, far as with the, the um they follow the land wherever it goes, far as the sound doctrine that's being put out according to the scriptures was being revealed. 24. And put thy feet in thy fetters and thy neck in thy chain. So that goes into Apostle Paul when he's speaking about I'm a prisoner. Um I can get that. First Timothy 1 and 6. Wherefore, put thee in remembrance that you stir up the gift of Yahweh, which is in thee. Let's see. Was... Yeah, 2 Timothy 1 and 6. Wherefore, I put thee in remembrance that you stir up the gift of Yahweh, which is in thee, by putting... On of my hands, for Yahweh had not given us the spirit of fear, but the power of love and of sound mind. Be not therefore ashamed of the testimony of Yahweh Shai, nor of me, his prisoner, but be there partaker of afflictions in the gospel according to the power of Yahweh, who had saved us and called us with the holy calling, not according to our works, but according to his own purpose and grace, which was given us in Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai, before the world began, going into pre being uh, predestined. So going back to that, this is Sirach. So that's what it's speaking of right there. Sirach 6 and 24. And put thy feet into thy fetters and thy neck into thy chain. Bow down thy shoulder and bear her wisdom. And be not greed with her bonds. Because again, wisdom. Um, you know, um, let me get the scripture. This is through much wisdom is much sorrow, I believe. Yeah. Uh, Ecclesiastes 1 and 18 For in much wisdom is much grief And he that increaseth knowledge shall increase sorrow 
okay so the more knowledge you get uh, the higher calling that you have the more um the more hell that the lord's gonna uh, uh, the more um things that you're gonna have to endure slack you the more things that you're gonna have to endure okay but you pray to the lord to be able to what relieve you of that um you know to be able to what get through that okay to be able to get through that because whatever is going on that that you feel in the flesh is 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 uh you know you know messed up okay the lord is what testing you okay Sirach 6 and 26 6 and 27 search and seek she may be known unto thee and when thou hast got hold of her let her not go okay that's speaking about wisdom for at last that I find her rest and thou shalt be turned to thy joy and then shall her fetters be strong defense for thee okay the wisdom will be a strong defense from thee and her chains a robe of glory going into that white raiment that speaks about in revelation it says for there is a golden ornament upon her and her bands are purple lace and purple goes into what um rulership goes into what royalty okay <clears throat> it says and they should put her as a robe of honor and thou shalt put her about thee as a crown of joy okay my son if thou will shall be taught if thou will apply thy mind thou shalt be prudent so prudent goes into understanding if thou love to hear thou shalt receive understanding going into revelation 1 and 3 okay thou shalt receive understanding if thou bow thy ear thou shalt be wise stand in that multitude of elders okay so you you you, you've been in the game for five years. Now you an elder. Okay. That's not how it works. That's why the Lord sent forth pastors of his heart. He sent forth his friends. Okay. It says, stand in that multitude of elders, cleave unto them as wise. Okay. Don't buck up against them if they're not going against the doctrine. Okay. And that goes into, um, you know, people being butthurt. Okay. Sirach 6 and 35. They want, they want to be the man instead of just letting your be the man. Okay, and the Lord has sent forth apostles and elders to, to that have been doing this for years and years, and they're fervent and they're staying in the scriptures. So why are you trying to buck up against them? And you have that, and that shows you that's the lack of what disorder. They're not what cleaving unto the wise. Okay, thirty-five. Be willing to hear, and that's a whole different uh, lesson, right? It says, "Be willing to hear every godly discourse. Let not the parables of understanding escape thee." Okay, so again, going into what the prophecies that are going on, don't let them escape you. It says, and if thou seest a man of understanding, get thee betimes unto him and let thy foot wear thy steps of his door. Okay, going into, um, you know, constantly asking questions, um, going into, you know, constantly watching videos and, and asking for the um, asking um, the prophets that are in the celestial, you know, in celestial, so like celestial bodies, okay, that are in the flesh. <laughs> It says, let thy mind be upon the ordinances of Yahweh and meditate continually in his commandments. He shall establish thy heart and give thee wisdom and thy own desire. Okay. And thy own desire. So again, what is your, should be your true desire is what, uh, you know, royalty, you know, immortality through what Yahweh Yahweh being glorified. Okay. And that's all through being what a true friend, wanting your friend to win. Okay, someone that's in the truth with you. And I can end it on this. I was going to go into Sirach 37 was actually the one that brought out this lesson, but it's all good. You know, so 9.23, <clears throat> Jeremiah 9 and 23. It says, thus said, Yahweh, let not that wise man glory in his wisdom. Neither let the mighty man glory in his might. Let not the rich man glory in his riches. So again, you glorying in, in things of this world that are going to be destroyed. Okay, when the Lord's saying, what well, glory in this through Jeremiah. Jeremiah 9 and 24, but let him that glorieth glory in this, that he understandeth and knoweth me, that I am Yahweh, which execute love and kindness, judgment and righteousness in the earth. For in these things I do delight, said Yahweh. So the Lord what delights in what you being a friend to your fellow neighbor. Okay. And this, and this, this is, um, and the Lord will what save you. Okay. If you believe this is Isaiah 40. And nine to ten, behold, Yahweh Shemashai will come with a strong hand. Okay, who's that strong hand? Yahweh Shai. And his arm shall rule for him. Okay, going into uh, Yahweh Shai has been given all power by the Heavenly Father Yahweh. Behold, his reward is with him. What's the reward? Salvation, immortality, his work before him. So again, 
He brings what his reward, which is that crown upon your head, that wisdom to be able to endure the tribulation that it takes to be able to seek salvation. Isaiah 40 and 11, he shall feed his flock like a shepherd. And that's what the that's what the, the Lord is doing through what his friends, okay, through the, what the holy prophets feeding their flock. He shall gather the lambs with his arm. So what? He's gathering, um, gathering us through what this word throughout the four corners of the earth and carry them in his bosom. So again, going into what lifting up in the chariots into his bosom, you know, that, that chariot that, um, that Ezra saw that was bigger than a mountain. Okay. And carry them in his bosom, lifting them up from what all the carnage, all the, all the, uh, the ICBM missiles, the, all the destruction and shall gently lead those that are with young. So again, going into, um, he would gently what lead, uh, what the leaders, which goes into what the elect, the young goes into what the elect. Okay. And that's the ultimate salvation is having Yahrashai, um, you know, beam you up. Okay. And that's, that should be the, the mindset that you should have as far as if you're an associate of, of our Lord Yahweh Shai. So with that, call Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rakaq Wadash, Shalom to the Lek, Kwam Yashallah.